What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn, I'm a designer and stylist from Toronto, and this is another episode of Our Badass Main Floor. So I'm actually giving you guys a second look at my living room. I posted a video one year ago and almost everything in my living room has changed. So I thought it would be a great time to give you guys another tour and kind of chat about where I've taken things and the vibe that I'm going for. So let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, there are a couple things that did stay the same and I feel like I've kind of just added on and going into like making over this space, comfort is key. I think that home decor is a form of self-care and especially with everything going on in the world right now, it's so important that your house feels like a cozy nest. For me, I've been going through a lot of personal changes in my own life and I've been spending, like everyone, a lot of time at home and it's just so important for your mental health to have a space that just feels cozy, inviting, comfortable. So I've been just upping the vibes. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys kind of how I've been doing that and the things that I've been doing to just make it feel really cozy, comfortable, and like me. So I guess I'll start with the things that didn't change. So uh, the chandelier in my living room is the same. Uh, I still love the chandelier. It is a Make Moves Vintage piece from the 70s. I also have the big piece of art behind me. Um, this was a custom piece commissioned by a friend of mine, Odette, who does stick and poke tattoos. Those are the two pieces that kind of remain the same and then everything else pretty much has changed. So the first thing that I did was I grounded the space with a really lush carpet. So I got this rug from Annie Selkie. It is a high pile shag rug, and I would say that it's extremely comfortable. I spend a lot of time lounging on the floor, um, but it is a little bit more high maintenance. I have had to send it out to get cleaned once already because it is very hard to vacuum. So if you are considering investing in a high pile shag rug, I think especially as well uh, because it's a lighter color, uh, it is a bit harder to keep clean. So just keep that in mind. Since the last video, I've also adopted a second dog. So I have two now, I have Nemo and Peach. It is just me in the apartment now, so uh, I am taking care of those two dogs. And yeah, they, they definitely bring a lot of light and love into my life, and I'm really happy to have them. Uh, so let's talk about the sofa. I previously had a sofa from Leon's, and then I had the vintage green uh, serpentine DIY project sofa. I just felt that it didn't really fit the space properly. I wanted the room to feel really low and just like intimate. And so I found this modular sectional from Mobilia. It is pure perfection. What I love about this sectional is that it is totally customizable to your own life. So I have four pieces. Um, I have an end piece and then there's three different separate sofa pieces with a chaise. So you can be completely custom with whatever configuration that you want. In retrospect, I think next time, or I might still purchase um, a secondary arm, I just thought that when I was looking into the living room, I wanted it to be really clean lined. So I didn't go with a secondary arm, but in retrospect, I think it's really important for comfort to have that second arm and I'm almost always lounging over on the chaise side. I absolutely love it. I love kicking my legs out. I love watching a movie there. I love reading books there. It is so freaking comfortable. So I'm in love with this modular sofa. I couldn't be happier with it. So I'm really happy with that. I love how low it is. There are no legs, so it sits directly on the floor. And I think that's a really cool kind of like, uh, like 1970s sort of vibe. I also went with two pink accent chairs and when I originally made the decision to go with these chairs, it was purely aesthetic. I thought they looked really cool, but I was so uh, thrilled and excited to find out that they're actually super comfortable. I mean, I'm not really having a lot of friends over at the moment, but when I do, there's lots of room for everyone to kind of lounge and hang out. In terms of splurges in the living room, I definitely splurged on my coffee table. This is a coffee table um, from Anthropology. I did love my old coffee table. I used to to have a uh, marble pink terrazzo coffee table and it was fantastic but I just thought for the space and for the new furniture configuration a round table would be great it's a travertine table from anthropology and 
I've just had my eye on this table for a long time. I think that the legs are really quirky. Uh, I love a round coffee table, so I was excited to introduce that. And then I also went with a pleated lamp from Anthropology. I really want to start adding in more hits of black into my space and this is kind of a great way to do that and of course I love just like interesting lines and, uh, and designs so this lamp was a great choice for me. The end table is actually from the patio makeover so I brought it inside for the winter. It'll probably go back outside in the summer but it's a great side table for right now. And then I have a variety of pillows. The pink pillows are also from Mobilia. The long pillows are from Mobilia. And then I have a couple of other fun accent pillows. The shell pillows are from Make News Vintage. And then all the other pillows are from my girl Kara from And Once We Were. So I have a knot pillow and I also have a round boucle pillow. In terms of accent pieces, like I said, I'm all about creating the vibes. And so I think that candles are so important and also having like sculptural and interesting candles so I have an amazing knot candle from laundry day I'm actually not gonna burn that one because it's too precious to me um, but I do have a lady figure candle that is from make moves vintage it is a bonum Kim candle and I love it um, and then I'm always burning incense I think that like Scent is something that can be overlooked in home when they visit you and they and you have a scent to your home they associate that with you and it's a really cool way to um, have an impact on people so say uh, you're like out and about and you smell uh, sandalwood you might consider thinking about me because you've associated that with my home and I think that's a really cool way to tie in the experiences that you have in your home with outer worlds I love scent and I think it's also just like such a vibe I always have books around for inspiration uh, I've got a couple home books and traveling books one other thing that I've recently invested in that I think was such a really cool investment is Philips hue light bulbs so essentially they are Wi-Fi enabled light bulbs and you can control them with your phone and I think it's just so cool for setting like an ambient mood lighting and it's it's cool for like winding down at the end of the day just to not have such harsh fluorescent lights on so I absolutely love that one other thing that I think is really important for creating a vibe is sound and I have a Sonos speaker from Ikea in my living room and I am connecting to it all the time. Daytime jams, nighttime jams, I love having sound and music in my house and I eventually will have Sonos speakers in all the rooms to kind of just continue that vibe. You can connect them and that's really cool. Lighting, sound and scent. I think are just three really major factors in creating that cozy, intimate vibe in your house. So those are some things that I've been focusing on in addition to the aesthetics. I think that like as this living room has evolved, it's really about those cozy feelings. And I just want people to come here and feel like it's very inviting and comfortable and cozy and vibey. So those are the changes I've made to my living room. In terms of the dining room, I'm not sure if I even showed the dining room in the last video, but I, uh, I recently swapped out, I had a marble, a round marble table and some cantilever chairs, and I swapped those out. Again, I'm bringing in hits of black, so I added in some uh, 1970s cane chairs uh, with black borders. I got them from an estate sale, and I think that they're amazing. And then I went with an oval table, and there will be a DIY coming to the vlog at some point. I'm going to cover it in plaster. So right now it actually has a tablecloth on it, so you can't see, but it's right now it's like a white lacquer, and I'm going to cover it with plaster just to add like another texture and dimension into the space. And then I still have the same bar cart, love the bar cart. Jackson is still kicking it, my man. <laughs> And uh, yeah, those are kind of like the updates that I've made to my living room so far. Again, I'm just like all about making it that cozy, comfortable nest. I do have a couple more projects coming to my channel soon. I am working on a really cool DIY built-in IKEA hack for shelving. So I'm gonna be doing that by the mantle and then I would love to invest in a projector and then the plaster table. So I'm gonna be making more updates to this living space and I'm excited to share them with you. If you guys have any questions about any of the pieces that I've incorporated or you have any questions about you know creating those cozy vibes in your living space, I am all ears. So leave me a comment below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you love it, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye. Hey, cut. Hey. <laughs> we did it.